Be an owner, brought to you by the Jockey Club of Canada. And we're a non-for-profit who operate to assist, represent particularly owners and trainers, and also their staff. So grooms, hot walkers, exercise riders. We run several programs for their behalf, medical plan, pension plan, educational assistance, owners awards. But in addition to that, we help with the day-to-day, -day, you know, comings and goings of particularly their staff. Uh, those that work in the industry don't make a lot of money and a lot of them haven't, you know, gone on to extremely higher education. So we help them in all ways. And then on a higher level, of course, we negotiate purses, race days, negotiate with government, CPMA on drug regulations. So it's kind of a vast set of different things we offer, but certainly very crucial, I think anyway, to, uh, to help those participating in the industry. We're their voice. It has changed a lot. I can tell you I served on the HBPA back in the 90s for a brief period, and here we are in 2017, and it's very, very different. Certainly the introduction of uh, teletheaters, simulcasting, internet, much more turf racing, much more complications in terms of revenue to the industry, government involvement, the escalation in drug testing, which is good, but it's, it's, it's very, very, very sensitive now, so that certainly affects our members. So it's, um, some would say it's kind of a thankless job. I, I do feel sorry sometimes for our board members. They take it in the chin a lot but they're all giving back because all of us have been in the industry a long time and we do the best we can. There's always openings that I can tell you. Uh, again, an issue that we've dealt a lot with is immigration because over the years we have had a significant number of individuals come in from other countries to work on the backside and immigration of course is clamped down so it's very, very difficult now to bring in a foreign worker. So it's a tough industry to get into because there's the danger aspect of it, right? So you can't just bring someone in off of the street and give them a horse to groom or a horse to ride. It's a process. And trainers are always looking for good help, I can tell you. And there's a good long career, but that first few months, the introduction to it, it's hard to find people that want to go through that. Uh, as I say, the pay isn't huge, so you have to have the love of the horse. And I can tell you the people that work back there, they all love horses, every one of them. I do believe there's a good future for horse racing. I really honestly do. I think we have to get through, we have a horse shortage right now due to the uh, financial challenges before the industry because of what's gone on the last few years. But I see a bright light and I think that Woodbine is going to become the place to be in Toronto. It'll take some time to build it, but I think we'll get there and I do believe horsemen will share in all that. As much as there's a lot of questions, unanswered questions. I think it's coming. So everybody be ready.